Hey what's up internet in today's tutorial we'll continue our discussion of characteristics of transmission lines and we have three different types of transmission lines depending upon how they react to the signal how they behave towards the signal and they are lossless transmission lines lossy transmission lines and distortionless transmission lines uh, let me tell you the concept of a lossless transmission lines is more of a theoretical concept than uh, being a reality most of the transmission lines or majority of the transmission lines are lossy transmission lines and uh, but for some theoretical purposes for numerical purposes we need to study the condition of a lossless transmission line and distortionless transmission lines also so uh, recapitulating the formula for characteristic impedance and propagation constant the characteristic impedance is given by z naught and propagation constant is given by gamma and the formulas are written over here now for the case 1 which is the lossless transmission line you simply need to understand that if on the series circuit the resistance is 0 and if on the parallel path the conductance is zero we get a condition of no loss so any real power dissipation occurs at resistance and of course resistance in shunt is more popularly known as conductance so series resistance and shunt conductance if they are zero then the condition of losslessness is achieved and that modifies our formula if you put r and g is equal to zero here we get a new set of formula for z naught which is l by c putting these two as zero and r propagation constant reduces to j omega under root l c by putting r 0 and g 0 here now you can see that the real part is vanished so we're left with only the imaginary part so we can say that alpha is 0 attenuation constant is 0 for lossless transmission line there is no attenuation and what we are left with is beta which becomes equivalent to omega under root LC so these two uh, formulas are very important from the point of view of numericals the, the condition number two or the case 2 is the lossy line it is the normal case when r is not equivalent to 0 and g is also not equivalent to 0 so that we have studied in the previous tutorial we know uh, these are the formulas for a lossy line but you still can expand this and segregate the real and imaginary part to find alpha which is a pretty complicated thing i'll write it down for your reference purpose you can pause the video and note it down
now a better approach is to calculate uh, this is C by the way a better approach is to calculate the values of gamma by substituting R, L, G and C if you know the frequency and then finding out the real and imaginary part instead of directly remembering alpha and beta. Now it is pretty tough to commit these two formulas into memory but nevertheless for the sake of record we'll write them anyway if you can find some analogy uh, to learn these formulas you can find uh, for your reference purpose and finally we are left with the condition of the distortionless transmission line mm, I'll simply put in and put forward the points for distortionless line the case 3 would be distortionless line Please understand distortion will be absent from the transmission line if number one alpha is not a function of frequency and if beta is a linear function of omega. If alpha is, is not a function of frequency, then all the frequencies get attenuated by the same amount. And we can say that frequency distortion is, not, is absent or is not present. Because we would want our transmission line to behave uh, similarly or equally well to all the frequency that we transmit over it and uh, on the same lines if beta is a linear function of omega then if, if it is a linear function of omega then the loss component would be the same for any frequency that we transmit please understand distortion is different from loss distortion means that uh, some amount of of variance from the normal quantity will be there but but what we are targeting here is to reduce the variance from the normal quantity we are wanting no variance at all from the normal quantity when frequency is changed so it's a pretty complicated concept but simply put uh, upon changing the frequency the the behavior of the transmission line should not change and the condition for distortionless line is I'll put it here in this box uh, R upon R upon L should be equivalent to G upon C so that will make R gamma to be equivalent to under root of LC R upon L plus J omega and similarly you can find alpha and beta or Z naught becomes equivalent to L upon C so frequency dependence has vanished so these were the three cases that I wanted to discuss after 
the discussion of transmission line i hope this tutorial was helpful uh, if you wish uh, more tutorials on such topics if you want to see more antenna and emft related tutorials then please consider subscribing to the channel and thank you for watching this video have a good day bye